Histamine intolerance might just be a root cause of your eczema or topical steroid withdrawal. In this video, we will talk about how histamine affects inflammatory skin conditions, such as eczema or TSW, how to determine if you have a histamine intolerance, and how to treat it. If you really want to heal your skin, you must determine if you have a histamine intolerance or not. Because think about it, if you are sensitive to histamine and you continue to eat high histamine foods every single day without knowing it, you are going to be constantly aggravating your skin. This means that you are not giving your skin a chance to heal. Anyways, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Larry. Welcome to Fighting Eczema. So, what the heck is histamine? Histamine is a natural messenger in the body and is usually produced by the immune system in response to an allergen. You'll know these responses as allergy symptoms. For example, a runny nose, itchy eyes, hives, or maybe some congestion. Histamine intolerance is when your body reacts too much to histamine. So basically, your body is very sensitive to histamine. Many of us who suffer from inflammatory skin conditions do have histamine intolerance. Unfortunately, this will cause us to react to small amounts of histamine, such as the histamine in the foods that we eat. If you have a histamine intolerance and you continue to consume foods high in histamine, your immune system will continue to be aggravated, resulting in what you might know as a flare-up in the skin. So how do you determine if you have a histamine intolerance? The first thing you need to look out for are allergy symptoms. Remember, histamine is naturally produced in response to allergens. So if you suffer a lot from those allergy symptoms, such as itchy eyes, a runny nose, hives, congestion, swelling, or maybe you just generally have allergies to dust or pollen, these are signs that you might be sensitive to histamine. Another thing you can do is to remove all high histamine foods from your diet for a couple months and see if your skin gets better. If your skin improves when you remove these high histamine foods, you likely have a histamine intolerance. If your skin does not change, maybe you don't have a histamine intolerance and it's some other root cause that is contributing to your skin issues. If you want a guide on how to eliminate histamine foods from your diet, uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can put in your email and I will send you my favorite histamine elimination diet guide. The final thing you can do to help you determine if you have a histamine intolerance is to take an antihistamine. Antihistamines are histamine blockers. They basically stop histamine from doing their thing, which then prevents allergy symptoms. If you take an antihistamine and those allergy symptoms go away and your skin improves, you likely have a histamine intolerance. If the antihistamines don't do anything, you might not have histamine intolerance. Common over-the-counter antihistamines include medications such as Claritin, Reactin, Zyrtec, and Benadryl. You can also try natural antihistamines such as vitamin C or quercetin. Ideally, you want to work with a healthcare professional to properly take these medications and supplements. Once you are able to determine if you have a histamine intolerance or not, your healthcare provider should be able to help you develop a long-term diet plan and supplement plan to heal your skin. If you want to work with me personally, you can check out our coaching programs at fightingeczema.com. With my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, I guarantee that I will work with you until your skin clears. If you've watched this far, I would appreciate a like on the video if you found it helpful. You can also check out our Instagram at fighting underscore eczema for more free information on how to heal your skin. Feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions. If you want to continue learning how to heal your skin, why not check out one of these videos? Good luck and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.